What's up, everybody? This is Battlefield Joe 97 here, giving you sort of an update video on what the hell has happened to me throughout the month of January and why I have not been able to upload my top 10 games list of 2013. Now, let me state this. I was originally going to upload the original top 10 games list of 2013, just like how my top 10 games list of 2012 list was in December 31st, 2012, but complications arose, like family members, friends came along, you know, party throughout the new year and stuff like that. So I had to delay that for January 1st, 2014, and you know, I was going to upload that and it would have been on the channel. But then... More complications came in. A virus. A virus freaking arose in the computer. It deleted all files within the computer of mine. So all the pictures, videos that I have done have all been deleted. Um, and so have all the videos that I was going to edit in. In the original top 10 games of 2013's list. That's been gone. Except for the intro. Because I have that within my phone that as I'm recording right now. So, yeah, if you see anything different from my head, which is the hair, because I had, like, so much fucking hair as of last year. Um, yeah, that was the original intro of the original video. So, yeah, most of all the stuff from that list, which is going to be uploaded sometime in this month in January, is record new recorded voices that i done for my list. Um, so quick thoughts on the list. It might be controversial, it may not be, who knows. I would like to have thoughts and opinions on what your top 10 games list is in the comments below, or at least hold that off until the top 10 games list, the 2013 list of mine, finally freaking uploads. So yeah, um, updates that came along after that. So after that top 10 games list is over, I will be making more list videos of top 5 worst games of 2013's and top five best movies of 2013. So after that is over with, I'm going to be putting those two in production. And yeah, and after those two lists of videos are over with, I'm going to finally, finally put my thoughts and opinions in a review for, let me get this out, for the Nintendo Wii U. Now, originally, I was going to make a, v a review of the system around the time it released, like in 2012, but I wanted to at least wait for a year or so, or have more time than a year, so I can at least have a full extent of the, the experience that I have for the console through its games. These, these are the games of the Wii, the entirety of my retail list. I have a lot of Wii, more Wii U games within the entirety of the console itself, digital games. So yeah, I'm going to be putting that in itself. And what else? Oh yeah, purchases that I received. Um, throughout the birthday and Christmas money that I received, um, you know, last year and this year, I put some of that money into getting um, a game, which would be Tatsunoko vs. Capcom for the Wii. And let me tell you something, I fucking love Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. It's an unusual crossover you would never expect it or even want in your life, but when you play the game, it's fucking fantastic. It's one of the most simplistic fighters alongside the Smash Brothers series, but even then, it's a lot complicated as well, like the Smash Brothers series of games, and that's what I love about Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. And, um, yeah, that purchase is gone. I, most of the other purchases came into eShop cards that I needed to put for more digital games on the Wii. And, um, gifts. Yeah, gifts that I received in my birthday. Um, this was a gift that I received after I had my hair cut, and that was Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut for the Wii U. And let me tell you something, as someone who fucking loved Human Revolution when I played it on the PS3, this version, plus the Director's Cut, is the best version to play Human Revolution. It is. It, it, it's got everything. The inventory system is smooth. It's crisp. It, it, it's just fucking grand. If you have not gotten this game on your Wii U, get it right now. Regardless of whatever the price is, just get it. It's a fantastic fucking game. And um, this controller that I received as a late birthday gift, 
And this is the Wii Remote Plus Luigi Edition that Nintendo is now making as of right now. There's also a Mario Edition, which I am definitely going to get when I do have $40 on me. And let me tell you something. I don't have the deal. Let me move the tool shop for. I don't have the deal with this fucking thing anymore. Fuck this add-on. It was just so much time and effort. I, I hate the add-on within myself. Just having the convenience of... That technology in this controller, just a Wii remote, fantastic. And also, it's got a lot of the appearances of Luigi, like the blue overalls, and green. And it's got the L in it, which is so cute. So yeah, that's all. Oh, wait. Oh, right. There's another gift that I bought for myself, and that was... Let me just get it out here. Um, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Wii U Edition. If you love Tekken Tag Tournament and you love to see martial law dress up as Luigi while playing within a Snoop Dogg stage, it's an enjoyable edition. There's not much frame rate drops in that one. It's fantastic. So, yeah, everything has been covered. I got you quick, quick up to date of what happened to me. And after this video, I'm definitely, definitely going to get that top 10 game list of 2013 uploaded immediately after that one. So anyhow, this is Battlefield Channel 97. Catch you guys later. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Have a nice day.